We've got less than two weeks to go until Pokemon Legends Arceus officially drops and the internet is going crazy over when this game is gonna leak. Let's take a look. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I bring you guys a brand new video today and today we're gonna cover Pokemon Legends Arceus and the most recent rumors or leaks, a lot of which are fake that have popped up on the internet over the last 48 hours. Just give you guys kind of a recap if you may have seen some of these and we're gonna break down some other information regarding Legends Arceus and much, much more. So be sure to hit that like button down below and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you don't miss out on our epic Pokemon content and the amazing stuff we're gonna have here on the channel when Pokemon Legends Arceus does indeed finally release. But I'll be real with you guys, I thought by now the game would have fully leaked and it has not. However, it seems as though we are getting close. We are on the precipice of this actually throwing down. So let's dive in, talk Legends Arceus, and a couple other things as well. So the first thing I wanna mention is Serebii reports on the fact that Shiny Galarian, Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres are gonna be given to players who participate in the International Challenge in February, March, and April online competitions. Now, I personally don't care for this because I really don't care about when they just give you random legendaries that are Shiny. I prefer to hunt them myself, but I thought I would just mention it on the channel for those who are interested in obtaining these three legendary Galarian birds in Sword and Shield. I'll be real, I haven't even picked up Sword and Shield in months. So again, not really for me, but worth noting. From there, we see Ball Guy, and this image has been uh, kind of surfacing around the internet. Uh, this is a promotional material box, apparently including the game. Now, I don't know if there's actually the game in here, but this giant kind of display here for Legends Arceus, and uh, you need to team lift it up. But what this means is, inevitably, as we kind of expected here, the game and the physical copies of the game are arriving at retail locations. I've seen multiple reports now of people saying that they are locked in what's called cages, which are located in the back of a retail store, and they usually have some sort of uh, indication on them to not open or sell until a certain date, and usually the computer systems indicate to not open or sell until a certain date. So it seems as though from this image and from other images we've seen that the retail stores like the Targets and Walmarts and things of that of the world are actually getting Pokemon Legends Arceus, and at this point, for the leak to take place, a few things need to happen. So let me break this down for you guys. Someone needs to obtain a copy of the game, a physical copy of the game. They, ne they then need to either start posting stuff about it, which is usually what happens first, or they will do what's called a dumping the, the file. Um, there's a couple different file extensions, but they'll dump this file through the use of a modded or hacked Nintendo Switch. Ultimately, that file can then be distributed on the internet um, and people can ultimately get the, the game, which really is, is important in the context of the data miners getting it, right? That That's who really is gonna take advantage of this the most and give us the most information. Once it's in the hands of the data miners, that's when they're gonna start to release that information about the different sprites and what the starter evolutions potentially could look like and, and all this other stuff, right? So that that's really kind of when this all kind of comes out and, and we kind of get this, uh, you know, this wave, tidal wave of information that's gonna surface on the internet from those data miners. And because I have yet to hear the fact that the game has actually leaked, I would say at this point, my next prediction is Wednesday to Friday of this upcoming week. I was originally shooting for this weekend, if I'm being completely honest, but I seem to have been off of my timeline. The reality of it is it really only does take one person to kind of get this ball rolling in terms of how this all spreads on the internet, but Again, if no one's doing it, then you know things can be held. There's also again the concern, which I had mentioned in a previous video, that the uh, digital or the physical copy of the game is not going to have the day one update, much like BDSP, and thus is going to be lacking content. So we'll have to wait and see how all that plays out over the coming days. But again, stay glued to the channel if you guys haven't done so yet. That way you're caught up on everything. I will be covering all the leaks on the channel. I will do my best to not include spoilers or images in the thumbnails. I'll use silhouettes so you don't have to worry about that and you'll know exactly what you're clicking into. But I don't know about you guys, I just wanna see this stuff personally, I don't wanna wait. I know someone's gonna be like, hey Drive, just wait, it's only two more weeks, I don't wanna wait, I wanna see it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, moving forward, really good conversations going on here in the PokeLeak subreddit, uh, talking about how the styles are gonna work. Now we know that there's the two different styles for moves, your agile style and of course your, your, uh, your one hit, what is it, the strike style. Um, so you've got these two different styles and it seems as though you kind of level up these moves as you go. Uh, they show a few screenshots here of Psyduck not having the Water Pulse styles unlocked at 15, but then at level 22, it actually has the Water Pulse styles unlocked. So it'll be interesting to see how that mechanic works out, but it's very possible that you're gonna not only level up moves, but also level up styles. And I wonder if the, the more often you use that move, 
is, is how you level up the style or unlock those styles of it. Or maybe it's an item that you have to use where instead of using like a TM, you use like a style scroll. So you give it an agile style scroll and it uh, allows you to use that agile style. I don't know, but it seems as though like PP management and move management as you kind of traverse this game is actually gonna be more important than ever before in the Pokemon franchise, which is something I'm really excited about because it adds another layer of depth to the gameplay, which otherwise we're pretty much lacking. So exciting stuff. Uh, remember those styles consume more PP and they seem to be a little bit more strategic when you're facing some of those boss Pokemon later on. So exciting stuff to take a look at. Now we're gonna talk about a couple other things here and I'm gonna just kind of say this straight out the gate. These are fake. Okay, but these have been spreading around the internet and we do have confirmation that they are fake. So, very interesting stuff though. For those who don't know, it is rumored slash leaked that we are going to get new starter forms for the three starter Pokemon. Rowlet, of course, uh, Oshawott, and then Cyndaquil. And those three starter forms are going to evolve into a grass and fighting type, a water and dark type, and a fire and ghost type. Now, this image was drawn from memory. And again, I just want to make it very clear that these are confirmed to be fake but I think they look awesome. Well, at least the Typhlosion looks awesome. I, I don't know if I would necessarily say that I think the Decidueye looks awesome, but the Typhlosion looks pretty dope to me. Again, fake. Uh, I, I just wanted to cover that and make sure that if you guys have seen it, you know that it is not real, right? And then we have this other image that was kind of surfacing around the internet, which is the Sisuian Electrode. And man, I tell you what, these leakers or these these fakers, right? They they do a good job because I when I saw this, I was like, yo, I don't think it's real, but I could see it being real, right? Like, this is a pretty cool design, and it's very, very much so looks like what I could imagine Electrode being, especially now that we've seen what Voltorb looks like, right? So, uh, again, this has been confirmed to be fake as well. Usually it happens as these images surface on the internet, and then about a day or so later, the artist usually comes out, or someone's able to figure out, you know, that it is confirmed fake. Um, you know, I always kind of approach these things with a grain of salt and understanding that Chances are it's fake, right? Most of the time it's gonna be fake, but you just don't know because eventually something's gonna come out and it's gonna be real, right? Like at some point it's gonna come out and be real and uh, I'm gonna keep it keep it real with you guys and tell you what I know and what my thoughts are. So these are both confirmed to be fake, but again, if you've come across them and you didn't hear the update that they were fake, there you go. And last but not least, there was a, a set of uh, audio clips that were posted online. I'm gonna go out and say that this is fake as well. I don't know if this is confirmed to be fake yet, but I think this person was saying that here's the cries of the three starter Pokemon. Again, I don't see this being real, but I'll play them for you anyway. So I think the idea behind that is it's Decidueye's cry, and then the, the kind of middle one or ghostly one would be Typhlosion's cry, and the last one would be Samurott's cry. But again, if we're being totally real here, I just don't see this being legitimate, especially considering like, what are the chances that the first like gameplay leak that we get is the three cries of the starter Pokemon? Like, why would that be what comes out first as opposed to gameplay images of people playing the game and things of that nature, which again, we have not seen yet. Like that still has not hit the internet, which is pretty mind blowing to me. I'm honestly really surprised that we haven't gotten that yet. But again, I'm gonna write this one off as fake for now. I don't think it's been proven fake just yet, but I, th I think it's probably gonna be fake. So we'll just have to wait and see how things play out over the next uh, you know, couple days, I would say. So again, my original prediction was we were gonna get these leaks by this weekend, and that seems to be a little bit off, but I still think we're gonna get something very, very soon. The closer we get to the release date, the more and more likely this game actually drops. We're actually right around the time when uh, BDSP leaked it, it, kind of in the lead time to when it launched. So we're right in that wheelhouse, right in that window of opportunity for this game to really kind of come out to the internet. And once those data miners get a handle of it, then they're gonna start putting out that information. We'll get the starter evolutions, we'll get any other secrets, all that good stuff. And it's gonna be right here on the channel. So show some love. Hit that like button down below if you guys enjoy this one. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Let me know your thoughts on everything going down. And uh, if you guys see anything, of course, feel free to tweet it to me um, if you guys see anything coming up. But uh, I've, been, I've been pretty vigilant, man. We're trying to find this stuff and see what's good. But inevitably, someone's going to have this game and, and we're going to start getting some gameplay and some screenshots and things like that. And uh, we'll cover it here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.